Hello everyone, Argzy here. Today we're going to take a look at how to customize license plates in your maps. Now I'm not going to profess to know the perfect way to do this or even if this is 100% the legitimate way to do it. Uh, but this is the way I have made it work for myself. We have edited them on Southern Cross Station and also on No Man's Land. And following some guidance uh, from looking at map files like Carmston Farms, like Elk Mountain, Wyoming and like Deer Creek where they've all added custom license plates into those maps. Uh, we've looked into what files we need to get uh, and how we need to go about it. So I'm going to jump straight into that, taking a look at what you need to do it and then to how to go about it. So let's uh, dive into it. There's really three main pieces of software you need. First up, Giants Editor. Now you can register to download that for free off the Giants Developer Network. Uh, so that's easy enough to get. Next up is an image manipulation program of some description. I've got both GIMP here uh, or Paint.net, both two free options which have uh, built in DDS file handling, which is something that you will need. Uh, you might have something you're more familiar with. I actually use Photoshop for all the artwork uh, and the design of it and then bring the image over into one of these to be able to create the DDS files. And lastly, a text editing file like Notepad++ to edit your XML files. You can obviously use the built-in Notepad in Windows, uh, but Notepad++ just has some extra functionality which I find it easier to edit the code in. Uh, we don't have too much code editing, so don't be scared by that. Uh, it's more changing around the graphics and then figuring out how to get that added on to the license plate in Giants Editor. So that's really the three main parts of the software that you need. Next up we'll go and take a look where to find the license plate folder, where to find the files and what we need to have to access those. So depending on the map you want to add the license plates to will depend on what you need to find now. We're starting off using the Southern Cross Station map and it doesn't have any license plate information in there. We just have a look in here, you can't see there's no folder, the map XML file doesn't reference any license plates. So we need to go and find the license plate folders from the base maps. So following this string here, this is where it's installed for my game uh, yield might be slightly different but you do need to go through and find this so we're in local disk program files steam steam apps common farming simulator 22 data maps and then map us and you can see in here is a file called license plates if we just open that folder you can see in here it has got the license plate the i3d file and also the xml for the license plates now this is what the map refers to this file is what the map refers to to put the model on to the piece of equipment whether it's a tractor a truck a car or anything else so we'll copy this across into a file to work on it and then just remember where we're looking for the map file here in the same location map us there and you'll see just to scroll down very quickly in the preview there is a line of code there called license plates. Now we need to come and grab that piece of code and change it a little bit and inject that into our mod map that we want to add the license plates to. So just keep a mental note of where that is because we'll be referring back to that a little bit later. And then the third files that we need here are in the data shared. So we're very close, we were in data maps, we're now in data shared and we want this license plates file. And in here there's a whole lot of the textures and normal mapping and everything like that. So if we just take a full copy of that folder and uh, take that across to our mod map, we're actually only going to point the edited license plate to one of these files, which will be a new file that we'll create with our new logo or whatever it is you want to put on it. For all the texturing, for the Wii maps, all of those kind of things, we'll be pointing to the original one without any changes. So we'll uh, grab a copy of that and head on over into editing it. Now before we go any further, you need to have the artwork you want applied to the number plate. Here is the one I've prepared for New South Wales for Southern Cross Station already. Uh, it's a combination of really just a yellow box, a black border from using a stroke outline, uh, then some black circles that we've put a emboss on, 
And same with the New South Wales text, that's also got a bevel and emboss on it as a layer style. That's what's created a little bit of a 3D effect on that. Uh, but we've just based that off an image search here on Google. And I think it was that license plate there, which is what I used as the inspiration for how to get a accurate New South Wales plate. As you can see, there's plenty of options there for that. Uh, and you'll be able to find your own options of where you want to head with your number plates. But I'm not going to go through the best way to design the plate or what you want to have on it. Then I'll leave that up to you. We're going to look at more at how to take this image and get it applied to the number plates in game. So now we've got everything we need, let's get into applying this onto a license plate. Now we looked here before, these are the textures. Now, as I said, we actually only need this one texture here, which is called license plates diffuse. Now I've copied that across into a separate file because you don't want to be working in your install files because that will affect every license plate that is referencing there. Now some maps might still reference the default number plates if they don't have custom plates, so you may not want to change that. Or you might if you wanted to change it globally and have the same license plate everywhere, you could actually do it in the game files. But I think uh, for this, I'm going to be doing it separately and keeping it completely separate from the game files. So we've set up a little folder here and have that one license plates diffuse texture. Now we need to open this up and we've already done that here in paint.net. So you can see there, these are all the images that giants use for different bits and pieces on the number plates and are mapped different ways. And you can clearly see we've got the outline there of the Elm Creek number plate, which gets applied to the license plate in Giants Editor. So I've just gone ahead and opened up our New South Wales number plate. Now I'm going to just copy that across onto the other one. I don't need to have the whole thing, the whole box. We're just going to try and get as much of that as we can without having too much of an overlap. It doesn't matter too much uh, because we're not using this anywhere else. But if we just copy that across there and we're going to paste that in over top. And you can see our number plate shape is slightly different to the Elm Creek one. And we'll fix that in just a minute. So I'm going to distort it this way. Now I, there is a different way to do this which I haven't quite figured out what the best option is. Uh, but this is working for me. Up to you whether you want to use this way or uh, try and explore a different way. But that is our number plate now in the diffuse. Now I'm going to go up here, we're going to file, save as, we want to save this as a DDS, and we want to save it into that same file we were just working in. So we're here, this is our tutorials, custom license plates, license plates and textures. And I'm just going to give this a slightly different name because then we can point it somewhere different. We're just going to call that argsy. I'm going to save that there as a DDS. Now I've used the BC3 Linear DXT5. I'm not 100% certain on which is the best option, but again, this has worked for me. And we've ticked the generate maps there as well. We just go OK, that is going to save. And we should be able to find that now in our folder that we had saved. Just bring that back up there, and then you can see we have that DDS file with the number plate saved. So next step, opening Giants Editor and changing the texture that the license plate's looking at. We're here in our license plates folder. This is the one we copied out of the game install files and have put in our own folder. And we've opened up the license plates US i3D file, which you can see there. Now there's two main shapes in here. One there which is called square plate. And the other one, which if we can click on the outside, which just see, there it is, is the frame around the outside. Now you'll see that the texture is applied or the image is applied to that square plate. And you can find that over here under the Albedo map. We click on the three dots there, and we're going to point this to the new one we've just created. So we'll click on the three dots up here in the right hand corner, and we can find the license plates underscore argsy with the New South Wales number plate. We go open and OK. That's not too bad at matching up what we had previously. Now, obviously, the scale's a little bit wrong. We come in here and grab the little green square while we have the square plate selected. We can actually Drag that down to try and resize it to something a little bit more appropriate. Now, of course, that's meant the frame has got a little bit out of scale, and this is all a little bit by eye. But we can grab the frame and do exactly the same thing to scale that down as well. So, there we go, we've got that scaled down now to look a little bit more like we'd expect. And while we're in here, there's one other thing that we're just going to look at, and I'm just going to show you this and change under here the symbols. These are the nine letters 
that become the letters for the license plates. You can see there as we click through them all, each one is allocated a location on the map. Again, we can actually move these by grabbing the green arrow and moving them up or down. And you can see on the right hand side in the attributes, that's changing the transform value for in the y direction. So just to undo there, you can see the translate and y is minus 0 0.006. We grab the arrow and drag it up, it can move it up or down. Now this can change the position, you might find that you've got lots of blank space or in the case of no man's land, I wanted to move those because our logos down the bottom were in the way and the letters were over it. So I just played around with that, fine tuned it until I was happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change a couple of these letters just to show you the difference when we load it in and you should be able to see the letters are all in slightly different alignment. So with that all tweaked, I'm just going to hit save and save that license plate and this will now become the one we point to in our game. We can close out a Giants editor, that should be all we need to do for now. So we just have a look here now, we have our license plates file. We click in here, license plates US, this is the one we've just edited, it's got today's save date, and in here is our textures with the license plates that we've put the diffuse on. Now we come back over here now, the next step is to add that code into the map so it knows where it's pointing to. So I've got our Southern Cross Station map file here. I'm going to quickly extract that. We'll extract that into the same location so we can edit it. There we go, we've got that extracted and unzipped. Now if we open up Southern Cross Station in here in maps, we're going to add that license plate file here straight under here next to placeables textures so we end up with a fourth file which will be license plates. We'll come in here, we'll copy that one jump in here into maps and place the file in there and then we have our license plates as well. So with that done, we now need to point the map to look at them. Now we find the file down here, map.xml and we're gonna right click on that and open and that will open it up here in the notepad++. And the first thing you'll notice is this line of code here, license plates, and this is the one we're looking for. Now with the dollar data sign, this is pointing back at the original license plates from the game install, so we'll use the default ones. We want to change this so it's using the ones we've just created. So we need to have a look at our file path and change that so it is exactly the same. So you can see here, looking at our map directory, we've got maps and uh, the file is sitting right there underneath maps. And just for a comparison, you can see maps underscore fieldground.xml. That is looking at this file here called fieldground. So we want our file path to be exactly the same maps slash license plates so then it starts looking at that file and then everything else should be the same when we click in here in license plates it will be pointing to the license plates at us and uh, picking that up there we go we've made the change to that code maps license plates that should be pointing to the one we've just created in that folder we're going to save that and exit out all right so we've added the image to our license plate we've told the map to look at the license plate now we need to go into the license plates xml file here we just pop into here we need to show the file name so it knows which i3d file it's looking at so at the moment it's still pointing to the default one as for the previous edit we just need to change that to say maps and license plates and that is the file path for it and relative to this we should be able to save that and then we'll go and take a look in game and make sure everything's working. All right, let's load in some map and take a look to see if this has worked or not. I'm just heading over here towards the truck and I can see a bright yellow plate. Let's just have a look. And you can see how the letters are all up and down on all over the place. That is reflecting the change I made with the Y value so as you can see we move some down the C the K the S are all covering it we move the H up uh, the two they're all out of line so that is the effect of moving that transform group on each of the individual letters just so you could get the idea uh, you can change the alignment you could have a bigger number plate with an image or something down below it if that's what you wanted to do you can move those so that they're not obscuring that image just like we did on no man's land and I'll uh, just give you a quick look at that right now and there you go, you can see how we've got the letters are a little bit higher on the number plate, so we can see the two logos there down the bottom. So it's effective the whole way around. We're just having a look here on the tractor as well. All the same, all the way across. 
another plate there on the back of the pickup not one here on the trailer can't have been applied but throughout the whole map regardless of what you've done you do have those number plates there so just taking a look here in the store when you're buying your tractor or whatever equipment you can see we've got the two different types of number plates they both use the same background so regardless of which letter and number combination you want to use you can uh, have that on either of them so just to wrap up there we go that is adding custom number plates into maps to have your own number plates on your equipment that's my way to do it like i said at the start by no means do i claim to be an expert on it this is just the method i've used to make this work for me i'm sure if uh, you're an expert in giants editor you'd probably find a smarter way to apply the texture than uh, the rather crude overriding the original texture with a new image but just to prove proof of concept that it does work and has worked successfully for me in a couple of different maps now so I hope that has been useful for you. Uh, one thing we didn't touch on was re-zipping the mod map. Uh, so just do make sure you do that before you've finished. And like always, keep backups of everything. Keep originals so you don't override anything that was critical and have to re go through and reinstall your game or anything like that. So again, I hope that was useful and I'd love to see your custom number plates. So if you're on Discord, make sure you jump in there and... Uh, Share some images of any custom number plates that you might make for your maps and for your game saves. So, as always, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed that and found it useful. And I will catch you in the next one. <laughs>